guys i did a little shopping and i just wanted to share with you what i got i decided to just buy all the different tips that i could find even though this one's not for hand lettering i still like to have it this one's the fine tip with the classic colors the ones that i really use a lot for hand lettering are the broad tips so i found this box with 20 colors and then i also spotted this other box of 20 colors which seemed to have some different colors and also some repeated colors i wasn't 100 percent sure so i was like oh, i'll just buy both we'll open it up and see what we get i don't mind if i have repeated colors because it's always nice to have extra markers on hand but the real star of the show is the super tips and this one has 50 colors i was super excited i specifically went out to look for these and they are supposed to be great for hand lettering i've never tried them before so i'm gonna be doing that for you today to see how well they work um, these ones clearly do thin and thick lines it's pretty similar to the broad tip but on a medium scale i would say so Hopefully you guys will learn something from this video and go out and buy these really inexpensive markers that you can do beautiful hand lettering with. I'm going to do just a little sample of the three different marker tips that I bought. This one is the fine tip and then these are the super tips. Oh yeah, I can already tell these are going to be great for hand lettering. Okay, let's see what colors I got for the broad tips. So it looks like there's two, two sets in here. One of them looks like a classic set. Let's see. Yes, one of them is definitely a classic set. And the other one is the bold and bright, I'm guessing. Let's double check. Yep, that one is definitely the classic set. And then this one would be bold and bright. So these are the colors from the bold and bright. Kind of remind me of Easter. It's really pastel -y. Um, Let me do a little demo of this one. We all know this one is great for hand lettering. Um, I highly recommend if you are starting out to do hand lettering to grab yourself some Crayola markers because they're just... They're great, they're inexpensive, and they last a long time. All right, so I'm digging into the last box of 20, and it looks like I have, this one's called Tropical Colors. That's fun. I don't think I ever bought this one before. And then I, yep, I have another box of classics. So I have two boxes, two new boxes of classic colors, but I'm totally fine with that. I'm not gonna complain. I do wanna try out these colors. This one also looks kind of pastel-y, but different. As you can see, that one is bold and bright. This one's the tropical and the good old classic colors. Going back to what I said earlier in the video, I went out specifically to buy the super tips because I wanted to test them out for hand lettering. So for the remaining of this video, I will be sharing with you a time lapse of me testing out the markers and the different colors. And stick around because I also will be sharing with you seven steps to happiness. Hopefully I taught you something or inspired some of you to actually pick up a pen and start your hand lettering journey. For those who are thinking about doing it, I highly recommend these Crayola markers. The super tip and the broad tips are great for beginners. So let me know in the comments below if you're going to try them or if you tried them. And even if you already do hand lettering, share with me what your favorite pens are. Before I end this video, I just wanted to extend my appreciation to everyone who has been following me and sharing my videos with friends and family. As a reminder, I do post daily at 6 a.m. So be sure to come back every day and check out what video I have in store for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.